zany friends. Uh, I am Lady. I am Marshall. Today we are going to talk about our three most anticipated new releases that just came out uh, and we have read them all three of them. Just took them and shoved them right in our Right, eyes. right in there just recently. Just, I was like, I'm, this is just going to happen. Uh, the three books that we are going to be talking about today are One by One by Ruth Ware, Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno-Garcia, and Magic Lessons by Alex Hoffman. And uh, as you can see, there's kind of like a, you know, a thriller, a horror, and then like kind of a romance? Romagics. Romagics. That's a very good yeah. category, romagics. Uh, but of these books, I have read all three and Marshall has only read one, but wants to read one by one. So I actually kind of want to read the whole, like both of them actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. First, let's talk about one by one, uh, by Ruth Ware. Let me tell you, I really, really was wanting to read this book because I love Turn of the Key so much, which you haven't read, but he is going to read it because I still feel Eventually. like it's one of the best Ruth Ware books. So in One by One, it is kind of like this whole Agatha Christie and then there were none vibes to it because it starts off with this, this, these people. And I think it said there was like 12 people total um, that are in this cabin up in the Swiss Alps. And uh, 10 of them are part of a tech company. And the other two are the hosts of the cabin. They're like a young couple and their job is basically to service the cabin when um, there are people there. So they're like act as their hosts and they clean the cabin and feed them and all that other jazz, right? So <laughs> this book starts off with a newspaper article that basically says there's been an avalanche on the hill, there's all these people missing and then like there has turned into a murder cabin and there's a certain amount of people have died. Uh, the story is told between the point of view of one of the women who are, who is with the party, but she's not with the company. That plays into it later. And one of the women who is a host for the cabin. And it goes from there and things happen. One of the guests go missing. They keep trying to find her and then everything goes to crap. While, while we were going through a lot of this story you kept on referring to and then there were none and then there was also 10 little indians mm -hmm. it, it also kind of gives me vibes of the guest list definitely mm -hmm. so um which one of these three is it kind of closer to i have to say it's probably closest to the like the guest list than mm -hmm. anything else it does have and then there were none vibes to it but it i don't think i don't think as many people get picked off if that makes a sense. And you, you find that out, like really at the beginning of the book, you know exactly how many people are going to die, but you don't know what happens to everybody, which I think is what the mystery really is. You know, who did it and how many people actually make it through unscathed <laughs> in this thing. So I just watched a review of this by Gabby Reads and I kind of agree with her a little bit about this because there was so much about the company and how the company is losing money and how they need to have a buyout and blah 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 that it really took away from what was happening in the book as far as the thriller element went and it was a tiny bit frustrating also i knew who the killer was pretty early on it was kind of apparent what was happening uh and i that kind of messed it up for me. I think I kept reading it because I was like, well, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's keep going. I was not wrong. <laughs> but it was not her best work. I gave it three stars, Ooh. which is a little sad, but it's still a really interesting book. I'm just really disappointed. And I think it's because, you know, I anticipated more. Our second book we're going to talk about is Mexican Gothic. This is a book we've been wanting to read for a while, but we read it for book club. Kind of an interesting take because it's a horror set in Mexico, which we haven't really read. Mm -hmm. It's by Silvia Moreno Garcia. And it, like I said, it basically takes place in Mexico where the main character, her name is Noemi. She gets a letter from her cousin Catalina who is uh, married and living in this house with this guy's family and they are English. Um, this guy's family and she is sick. They she has tuberculosis. She's trapped in the house and she's asking her cousin to come and be with her uh, while she is trying to get 
better. Although and so, the letter has a little bit more in there that kind of disturbs you. Noemi goes to the house and basically happens upon all the sinister things that are happening yeah. and tries to unravel this mystery of why Catalina can't leave. So having just come off of Kill Creek, um, now knowing what they actually mean by a gothic horror. Mm -hmm. I, I look at this and I'm like, this was a really great twist on the idea of the gothic horror. Yes. Um, and when you get to the ending, you're like, yeah, I get this. This makes sense. And this is a, this is a, this is a very interesting story because of that. Right. It um, is. It's mm -hmm. also very beautiful. And it, the way it's written is gorgeous, but there were so many times in this book that I was just kind of like, okay. Mm -hmm. I was, there was like so much graphic energy imagery, but that is gothic literature. Yeah. And so I just took it for what it was. It, I thought it was very beautifully written and that's what I really mm -hmm. appreciated about it. Yeah, and I really did like the character of Noemi. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that, you know, she was this, I'm gonna get things done. Yeah, she was a pretty, Pretty strong female. I ended up giving it four stars uh, for after reading it. I thought it was a great, solid novel. I agree with you. I, mm -hmm. If there was just a little less floweriness, um, and not necessarily floweriness, it was just there was chunks of things that weren't necessary. Right. Our next book that we're going to talk about is Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. This is the third book in the Practical Magic series, but not chronologically. Mm -hmm. So her first book that she wrote is Practical Magic. The sequel is Rules of Magic. This is a prequel to Practical Magic and it follows Maria. So you, you see her in Practical Magic. She's the one who uh, was going to be hung for being a witch and she cast a curse that any man who loves an Owens woman will basically be cursed. And you understand through this book what led her to do that curse and what happens after. She's in the line of blood, like they call her blood witches, but she, she is found in a reeds and adopted by someone who practices the healing magic, you know, mm -hmm. the kinds where you White take, magic. yeah, you take uh, stuff from the countryside or whatever and like herbs and you create magic with it in order to heal people for love issues or whatever. And so she learns those things from her mother and then comes to find out who her real mother is and learns that she really is a blood witch. Uh, and then through the course of the entire story, you just find out more about her love of her love of her daughter, her love of the men in her life and the choices that she makes and how those choices actually can cause harm or good, depending on what it is. And it is a really compelling story. It's definitely a romance, but there is just so much interesting in the story. It just kept me reading a little bit more like, okay, I, I, I'm really, I'm down with this, right? This was a great story. What I didn't like about it is that at times it would try to like tell you something and then a little further on it would like refer back to the thing and then redescribe it. And to me, I felt like that was just redundant and I didn't really like that too much. I was, I've been kind of wanting to read this series because I really enjoyed the movie. Mm -hmm. It was a good fun movie. And uh, seeing seeing a uh, prequel to this, uh, how closely, like if somebody has only seen the movie, how, how closely does this follow into that universe? Uh, definitely, it follows pretty right on. Uh, I don't think that there's a, I mean, I actually really appreciated how Alice Hoffman kind of twisted the story a little bit in order to make it fit. So I, and especially with the movie. So I think, I think it really it helps with that a lot. Um, I actually gave this book four stars. I thought it was just beautiful. It was a beautiful book. Um, but if you if you like romances and like if you like fall spooky, and it's not even spooky, but if yeah. you just like fall books, this is the book for you. <laughs> okay. uh, so thank you so much for watching our three anticipated reviews and until next time. Stay zany. Bye.